Children. Children. Today we're going to be reading Twas the Night Before Christmas. Stop looking at me. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. What the heck's a mouse stirring? Do mouses bake? Not mouses, mice. It's mice. Do mice bake? The hell are they stirring? The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Be worried about a member of the church in my house. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> anyway, the children were nestled all snug in their bed with visions of sugar plum as sh wild visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. You guys dream of sugar plums? You dream of random fruits that old people eat? Yeah? I dream of prunes. Dried apricots, mostly. <laughs> and Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Is he fully clothed in bed? Don't they have heat in this house? What kind of 18th century book is this where they don't have indoor heating ventilation? We need to update this. This is terrible. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. Again, they have to completely cover their windows so that the draft can't get in the house because they don't have heat, because they don't have double-paned windows. My God, let's enter the 20th century with this book. 20, not even 21st century, 20th century. <sighs> Away the window I flew like a flash. I tore open the shutters that threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the newly fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. It kind of looks like day outside at night in the winter when there's snow on the ground. You don't have to worry about this winter. It's 68 outside. Wear shorts. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew that it must be Saint Nick. Nice hat. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. All right, so number one, coursers are what you use to make the horses go. He's whipping the horses. Reindeer, sorry, reindeer, they're not horses. They're horses with antlers. He's whipping the horses. PETA probably has something to say on this book, number one. And number two, notice how Rudolph isn't mentioned. He doesn't come around until the 1930s. This book, as you know, was written in the 1700s when they don't have heat. So Rudolph's not in it. Stupid nose. <sighs> as the dry leaves that before the wild hurricane flew, when they meet with an object, mount to the sky. Oh, sorry. Wild hurricane fly. When they meet with an ob obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. He's still beating the horses. And then the twinkling I heard on the roof and the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Don't look little. Have you ever seen a reindeer? Those things are huge. You understand how your roof would start bowing? We're talking major structural damage to the house. Those things are literally going to be in your attic unless you get those stupid horses. And they're basically the size of horses. Forget this miniature stuff they're talking about. They're horses off your roof. Oh. God, I hate this book. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, because they have to eat. <laughs> From head to his toe, to head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot, because they always have to burn a fire, because they don't have heat in the house. But he's freezing all the time. It was terrible to live in the 1800s. 
You kids better be thankful for the heat that I provided in this modern house that I bought. That kind of looks like the TV studio with fake walls up. This <laughs> modern house that I bought with modern heating system and ventilation so you don't have to wear basically a snowsuit to bed every night in the winter when there's snow on the ground. Don't worry, there's not snow on the ground now because it's 68 degrees. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. Look at his nose. He looks like literally he had a 30 year boxing career. That nose has been broken a dozen times. He probably has a deviated septum. He has trouble breathing, besides the fact that he's 400 pounds. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and his beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe, he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. His broad belly and his little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He's got an eating disorder. There's no need to make fun of him. I mean, jeez. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I mean, generally elves are small. He's huge. Look at him. That's a grown adult male who looks like a skinny baby next to that chubby man. He's not an elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. And the guy's making fun of him for being this chubby elf who's dressed in fur. <sighs> a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Of course, there's an intruder in his home. This is America in the 2010s. He probably would have been shot by now. Don't worry, you have justifiable cause if there's an intruder in your home. You can't shoot him. Just aim for a leg. <laughs> he spoke not a word, but went to his work and filled all the stockings with the turn of a jerk. With a jerk. He's not a jerk. He turned with a jerk. Sorry, Santa's not a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. Hopefully, again, there's not a fire going because it's freezing in the house because they can't afford heat and they don't have the modern technology to provide in the heat in the house. It's amazing any of us actually have ancestors that survived the 1800s. It's the worst time ever to live, only third to the 1700s and to, and to the 1600s. It's amazing humans made it out of the Middle Ages. He sprang to his sleigh then gave a whistle as they flew like down of a thistle. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Go to bed. Why are you still awake? It's night. Go to bed. You're not getting presents in the morning if you don't go to bed. Get out of here. I tolerate you all. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.